Hello, it's uh, Hanafi Makaris here. Um, welcome to another Guitar Gunk video. Um, this this video I'm going to do, I've had a request by um, one of my followers on Facebook um, and I've been asked if I can do something uh, to do with George Benson's lead guitar playing and scales and types of things that he uses. So um, what I've decided to do um, is to just do an analysis of the first chorus of his solo on Billy's Bounce from the Giblet Gravy album. So um, we're just going to go through the solo and look at what sort of notes he's using, um, what sort of note choices he's using over the harmony and the chords of the song. Um, um, I hope you enjoy this one. Thank you. So let's have a wee listen to the first chorus of the solo first and get the sound in our head. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let's let's have a look at how George Benson starts off the solo. Um, so it's a blues and F. He's playing over an F7 chord here. The first phrase after the after the head of the chord, you know, the melody of the tune, he comes in with a phrase over an F7 chord here. So he's playing starts on the six, and then the root, and then back to the six, and then he's sliding on to the third from the flat third to the third. Playing the root note to the flat seventh of an F chord. So the way I'm kind of interpreting that, it's he's sort of thinking like an F6 sort of a sound, really, I suppose, or an F13 if you want to think of it like that. Um, so that's kind of from a like it's almost like a D minor triad he's playing there with the blues note sliding on to the third of that F7 chord there. Um, so you, you could almost sort of be thinking like a D minor 7 kind of arpeggio or D minor type of thing there. Um, and then he's going to the, the root note to the flat 7th. So that's sort of real um, kind of like F mixolydian type sound really to me. Um, with that blues note there, the flat third onto the third. It's straight out of the F7 arpeggio actually. So the F7 arpeggio would be like F, A, C, E flat. So he's landing on that E flat, the seventh. Um, That's kind of what he's thinking, I think, over that, that F7 chord. So sort of an F6 type thing, D minor -y thing, and then to an F7 arpeggio, basically. And then over the B flat, the B flat 7 chord, X chord, he plays a, um, these kind of notes, so we've got a, so in terms of, B flat seven is starting on the augmented note of that chord. So sharp five, the fifth, the fourth, and then the flat seventh, and ending on that sharp fifth. So so sharp five. So in 
terms of a B flat 7 scale, if I play the mixolydian with that flattened 6 in it actually, that's actually the 5th mode of the melodic minor, maybe that's what scale, scale wise what he was thinking when he came up with that line, I'm not too sure. But. Which is a really interesting scale to be using over the four chord and the blues. That's a B flat seven augmented kind of sound with a nine. It could be, could be over an F altered scale, you know. But yeah, I'm not too sure. But in terms of the B flat seven chord, the four chord, it, it's kind of like a B flat seven with a flat six sort of scale. Fifth mode of the melodic minor scale. That one is um, mixolydian flat six. Um, and then back to the F seven. And then he plays a he actually plays like a like an F in terms of an F chord he's playing the third, the sharp fifth, so there's another augmented note there, and the major seventh over a dominant chord, which is a very interesting choice. So, so those notes that kind of gives you an F major 7 sharp 5 arpeggio. So that's, to me, that's the notes of a Lydian augmented scale, which is... But he's playing the the arpeggio, but then he ends on the sharp nine of, of an F. So in relation to the F seven chord, we're going up a F major seven augmented arpeggio, and finishing on the sharp nine of that F seven chord. So it's like a real bluesy sound, and then then he goes chromatically down. So we've got sharp 9, 9, flat 9, root. Um, so that's sort of kind of like an F altered scale, I suppose, with a chromatic descending line. So F altered scale, the seventh mode of the melodic minor kind of, I think. So there's some really interesting stuff in that line. Um, um, and then he's coming back down, a, um, oh, goes to the B flat seven chord, and then he's going. So that's like the fourth of a B flat seven. Then he goes from the flat third to the major third, which is a blues thing, then the root, then the fifth, then the fourth, then the sixth, then the third, then the fifth, then the ninth, okay, so that's sort of straight out of mixolydian.
first leaf seems more cool and he's going Oh yeah he plays um over the F7 he's going fifth third with the flat third sliding onto the third more bluesy stuff root note then the six he's ending on the six there so the thirteenth or the sixth huh? So that's kind of that's like a D minor seven arpeggio too. You could look at it. So kind of an F six sound, um, or you could sort of be thinking of an F major pentatonic. You know. So that's the root, second, third, fifth, sixth root, that's your pentatonic. Um, so, and then he's playing, that's the next line, so that's over D7, he's starting on the, the augmented note of a D7, then the flat 9, so kind of suggesting a D7 altered sort of sound with that flat 9 there. So we've got the 3rd, flat 9, sharp 5. Kind of altered. Yeah, kind of sounds very decent and altered. And he lands on the G over the G minor 7, so that's a root note. And then he's like. So over that C7 we got that's that's um it's actually a B flat major seven arpeggio. So we've got the A, which is the the major seventh, the root, the third, the fifth, and the seventh of a B flat. Flat, that's a B flat major seven, but over the C seven, that's the six, the flat seventh, the ninth, the ninth, the fifth, and the thirteenth. So it's a six flat seven nine sus four. Sorry, not the fifth. Did I say the fifth? That's a sus four and the thirteenth. So that's a dominant nine sus. Dominant 13 sus sound. 13 sus. 13 sus 4 ninth flat 7th and another 13 there. So yeah, we're getting a suspended. 9 13 kind of dominant sound there with that B flat kind of superimposing a B flat major 7 over the C C7 and then the line ends on that on the root note and the flat 7 to that C so it does sort of resolve into this C7 and then the last kind of line of the song and that's a real bluesy kind of look. He's got the the six. It's over an F seven sort of sound. So we've got the six, like an F thirteen, and the the the, um, the ninth there as well. And we're kind of like playing the six and the ninth together. Um, so we've got this um, this kind of sound. Sorry, that hitting the wrong string there. It's kind of like that sort of sound, which is 
like an F9 with a 6, um, playing those, and then putting in a blues, the flat third, that kind of blues note there, and then hammering that on, and then off again onto the ninth, that kind of sound, but with that 6 held, suspended over that sound, and then landing on the root note, the F there, and then the fourth, and then flat 3 onto 3, so that's a blues thing, kind of a bluesy, the fourth, the flat 3, then the 3, a real bluesy kind of sound, then the fifth, then the sixth, then the root, so that last sort of look is all out of the F major blues scale. And with the sus4 put in there as well. So that the major blues scale would be root, the second, flat third, third, fifth, sixth, root. Second, flat third, third, fifth, sixth. There's another root up there. So it's all out of that scale. Right? Probably maybe Charlie Christian influence coming through, perhaps. Um. So there you go. That's um, pretty much the solo for Billy's Bounce. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you would, uh, if you'd like a copy of the music, please um, send me your email. And uh, I can send you a copy of the music, or if, if you would like any of the scales that go with um, that solo that I mentioned, any of those scales in there, please let me know any of those, and I can send you a copy of those scales too. Um, no problem at all, just send me your email. Thanks so much for watching Guitar Gunk. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you're playing heaps, sweating heaps, making tons of gunk on your fretboard. Um, keep playing, keep jamming. Um, it's all good. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks so much again. Take care. Bye-bye.